We are going to put the eye level in the exact center of the page for this exercise. Start by finding the center of the page by drawing an X from corner to corner on the picture plane. Then draw the horizontal line through the center. Add the central vanishing point on the exact middle of the horizon line. Then put special vanishing point left and right on the far ends of the paper. Keep the point small but visible. We are drawing perfect cubes. So they will start with a perfect square that is parallel to the picture plane. All sides need to be parallel to the edges of the paper. The bottom and the side of this box will converge to the central vanishing point. So you connect those bottom corners and the side corner to the central vanishing point. To find the back edge, draw a line from a corner that converges to an opposite special vanishing point. They go from an opposite corner all the way over to my special vanishing point. Right, draw a line where that intersects. That is where I will draw the line down to find that side back edge. Special vanishing points left and right are always equal distance from the central vanishing point for one point boxes. Now I'm finishing the inside of this box by making all the connections. So again, starting with a perfect square. connecting to the central vanishing point. This box is below eye level. The other box we drew was above eye level. Your eye level would be exactly on that horizon line. Now I'm connecting the bottom corner to special vanishing point right where that intersects. That is where I draw that back edge. Make sure it's straight. And then make my connections. Right now it's opaque, so I can't see through it, but in order to make it transparent, I now connect that corner to the central vanishing point, and then everywhere make all my connections. Your cone of vision passes through the special vanishing point left and right. Boxes drawn near the outside edges of the cone of vision will appear to be more distorted, while boxes that fall more in the center will not be. Remember, we're drawing perfect cubes, so they will start with a perfect square that's parallel to the picture plane. And then all of the lines converge to the central vanishing point and to find that back edge, 
you go to the opposite special vanishing point. And then finish your box. So right now it is opaque, can't see through it. Now I'm going to turn it into a transparent box. If you draw everything exactly, everything should always connect. If something's not connecting, you know you probably did something wrong. So this one is over to my right, and I'm only going to be seeing the side in the front of the box. So still, that side is going to converge to the central vanishing point. And to find that back edge, connect, connect, find that connection. It is opaque right now to make it transparent. I'm just going to draw these lines in. You're going to see very little because of the angle of the top and the bottom here. So that can be a little bit confusing. So just understand it's just going to be a little slice that you're seeing but all the steps remain the same. Again, from the other side, drawing the front face of the box, which is parallel to the picture plane. One point boxes are always parallel to the picture plane. We converge to the central vanishing point. Find the back edge. And then remember, even on the insides, everything converges to that central vanishing point. So this is usually where people get confused because they're only seeing just such a small slice. So just remember, like this is still that parallel line and just make your connections. Now I'm drawing a box that would be right in front of my face. I'm only going to see the front face of this box. If it was solid or opaque, you would leave it. If I'm seeing into the inside of the box or if it is transparent, then everything is still going to be going to that central vanishing point just on the insides of the box. I'm going to find where that back edge is, connect to that special vanishing point, and then make my connections. So now it's a transparent box right in front of my face that I'm seeing into. Okay, another above eye level is above and over to my right. Everything is vanishing to the central vanishing point. I'm going to find that back edge by going to the opposite special vanishing point. Where that intersection takes place, that's where I draw that back edge and then make the rest of my connections. This is the bottom, like in pretty close. I'm going to see the front 
of this box and just like the top of the box. That top edge is going to vanish, that central vanishing point. Now you have to use one of the top corners to find that back edge. So take that to the special vanishing point right. I could have gone special vanishing point right or left for this. You really can do it any any either way anytime however I find that it's easier when you go to the opposite make my connections This is another above eye level. You're going to see just a sliver of the side of this box, very little of this. This is also at another angle where you're barely seeing any of the other side. 